Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your September new love tarot reading. So, Gemini, you're looking at new love. This could be someone totally new coming into your life. It could be someone very new that you're dating, getting to know. It also could be uh, someone you know, never been romantically involved with. It could be a crush. It could be a missed opportunity from the past. And we're going to see uh, what kind of situation you're in. It's not about exes or someone you've already had some sort of romantic relationship with. So, please do keep that in mind. All right, so we have the crystal angels here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages of this deck. And then we're going to jump into your reading. All right, Gemini, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got for you. Gemini September, new love tarot reading. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what your messages are. So we have revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you will feel love for who you truly are. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So pink here definitely gives me the vibes of new love. Jade, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. And Ruby, bless your heart. Reach for emotional and reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Hmm. This could be a friend who. Okay, so we could have two people here where you're friends, and maybe one person has been through some things and has been watching the other one heal. Um and is now trying to get up the confidence here to reveal their true feelings as well. So I feel like this, because this yellow energy could give me a friend or maybe a co-worker or something like that, but someone you've never been romantically involved with because we have pink here, which for me stands for new love. But there's a lot here about healing and wellness and also someone revealing their true self. So I feel like somebody has somebody here has watched the other person go through some stuff doing their healing, may, maybe being through friendship, you know, a healing part of somebody's journey or life. But now someone's getting, gaining the confidence to reveal their true self, their true feelings. All right, Gemini, let's see. Let's see. So we have the Thelema Tarot here. So I'm going to do a reading with this deck. And at the end, I will close it out with some magical unicorn oracle cards. All right. Gemini, let's see what all this means for you. What does all this mean for Gemini, September, new love, tarot reading? All right, Gemini, what does all this mean? Let's see. Let's take a deeper look. What does all this mean? Oh, my God, there's way too many. It's like 10 cards. All right, what does all this mean for Gemini? All right, let's see. King of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles. Okay. The Fool. Yeah, okay. The Knight of Cups. And let's see a clarifier from the bottom. Oh, we do have the Devil here. So, I don't like that, but let's see. Right away, what I see here, Gemini, is that I see someone who has probably not revealed their true feelings to you, especially with this King of Cups in reverse. This is someone that you've never dated. Doesn't mean you... It could be, like I said, a friend or a co-worker. Um, I feel like this person... Somebody here has been a stable force in somebody's life. Now, I'm kind of reading into your energy, but I mean, if you need to switch energies around, you definitely can do that. But what I'm feeling here with this King of Pentacles is that this has been, someone has been a stable force in somebody's life. Again, someone you never dated, someone who's not revealed how they're feeling, but they want to because the King of Cups upright for me is somebody who's very, a um, little bit closed off. I call it my reserved uh, person who does have love, feelings, and emotions, but they're not too good at expressing or showing affection or love. But in reverse, that is someone that really wants to just come forward and just spill it all out. Maybe a little over-emotional. Um, but we do have the Fool here, which is someone taking a leap of faith. Could be right now, because with the Fool, it's zero for me. Gives me no time frame. Uh, and that, for me, can mean, like, any time now. Something could be happening any time now, coming full circle. Someone taking that leap of faith. And there's love behind it with the Knight of Cups. Something romantic. 
uh, and that can lead to courting day and you getting to know. But I feel with this double here, there's a lot of fear. I also feel like somebody um, has watched somebody go through a very toxic situation with that devil energy as well. But always a part of somebody's life as a stable counterpart, friend or whatever, who brought a lot of love, support, guidance as well. But also I feel like now somebody wants to open up romantically to the other person. So I'm keeping it open like that because I'm not sure. I mean, I don't have your energy here, Gemini. Uh, I was kind of reading into your energy, but it could very well be... Um, You've been watching this person and you want to make the romantic move or vice versa so we'll see uh, if we get more details as we go but we do have here pisces virgo aquarius scorpio capricorn all right let's get more let's get more and the fool also can be a clean slate fresh new start energetic reset for a new beginning so definitely somebody has been waiting for someone to have that energetic reset a clean slate no baggage uh clearing and healing of the energy as well so i would like to see strength come out because that does overcome the devil but we'll see all right what else do we need to know here for gemini about this situation so let's see if we get a little more clarity here like is this gemini watching this other person and wanting to come forward or is someone watching you gemini and wanting to come forward because you've been through some things here but they've always been a good friend but let's see um is this person watching gemini and they want to come forward we'll just ask that first ten of swords no so maybe it's the other way around maybe you've been watching this person and you want to come forward and kind of express how you feel Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, yeah, somebody kind of biding their time here. Nine of Cups, but a very single energy. Page of Cups is that romantic gesture. Queen of Pentacles reversed. We got two cards of Capricorn right here. So there's been an ending here with the Ten of Swords. Probably happened very quickly, maybe, for somebody. Um, and I say maybe because every situation is different. So for some, it could be one way. For some, it could be another way. So that's what I mean by maybe. A lot of people come that I don't know what I'm talking about because I say maybe. There's a gazillion possibilities here, and the maybe is whatever possibilities suit you. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I do see an ending here. And something could have ended very quickly. Also, I see someone rushing in very quickly, but there's been a lot of time of assessing, analyzing, kind of waiting, biding time here for the right time. But someone kind of looking over at this energy of the Nine of Cups as wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. I also get a very single energy. The Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups are both kind of single energy for me uh, because the Nine of Cups, this person is alone in this cup, a cup <laughs> card. Fulfilling their own wishes, uh, indulging in what they choose, making, you know, their happiness. For me, that's a single energy. Anyway, but there's a romantic gesture behind it as well. So somebody looking at their wish fulfillment, kind of waiting, you know, patiently for the romantic gesture. But again, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So one person, we do have a match here, uh, King, Queen of Pentacles, but one's reverse, one's upright, meaning that the energies have to be right. So somebody, one person here is the stable force in the other person's life as they're going through a very unstable, toxic situation. Definitely this is coming out here. But the swift ending is here, and it looks like someone's going to rush in swiftly to make that romantic gesture. Because now they're feeling like the time, time is probably right now. Now, I mean, maybe somebody had to go through divorce, or it's just whatever the case may be. Queen of Pentacles reversed. You know, King Queen of Pentacles can be married people. I'm not saying this is someone you were married to because obviously it's new love. But I do feel a friendship or maybe co-worker vibes, uh, you know, however it resonates. But um, King Queen of Pentacles can be the married couple. Married people, we'll say it that way, of the deck reversed. Can be divorced for me. So looks like one person here is a stable fixture as somebody is going through a possible divorce toxic times but being that loyal true friend whatever the case may be but the person also has romantic feelings and does want to come forward when the time is right so all right 
So we got Aquarius and Pisces and Capricorn. All right, Gemini. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to just keep repeating, so let's move on. All right. Gemini. So tell me more about this. Tell me more about this for Gemini. New love. Let's see what else do we need to know. Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, for some of you, it definitely could be somebody you work with or had worked with at one point. Ten of Wands. Temperance. It's a soulmate energy here. So even though someone was going through a tough time, even if you were just good friends or co-workers, whatever, you were meant to be a part of each other's life because there is a soul contract here. Temperance is patience, healing, balance, joy, love, and light. Um, things meant to be. Divinely guided energy. Divine alignment of soulmates. Eight of swords. But there definitely was a stuck energy surrounding this. Two of pentacles where things just felt up in the air. Somebody definitely feeling up in the about up in the air about coming forward with their romantic intentions. But they're making that decision. You know, this is also healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released to make way for new. A call to action, call of the universe. Making that big decision, judgment call is here. So contracts, past life, things meant to be. Resurrection, wake up call. So somebody's making that big, big decision. There's a lot of weighing in the energy. When is the time right? So I'm going to get a little more here, but it looks like... Uh, now we'll see his time frame... Um, We'll see as we go what we get. But we do have here Sag and Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. So there's a lot growing. The energy is definitely growing between you. Um, that Three of Pentacles is all about growth, expansion, building, rebuilding. But there's been a lot of, lot of energy here weighing somebody down. Which has been keeping the energy stuck and up in the air. But something's meant to grow and expand here with the Three of Pentacles. But the Judgment Day is here. It's pretty close. Maybe final decision about something as well. But let's see what else we need to know. So what else do we need to know about this for Gemini? What else do we need to know? Gemini. About this energy. Ooh. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's Fate Destiny here. But we do have the Ace of Cups and the Hangman Reverse. So again, Ace of Cups Reverse, someone you've never, ever, ever been in a romantic relationship with. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen with the Ace of Cups Reverse. Something definitely here meant, something here definitely is meant to move forward in a positive way. And I feel like the pause and hesitation is about to come to an end and someone's going to make that move because the Hangman is in Reverse to move this forward. This is positive movement forward. Love, growth, expansion. Things meant to be. Fate and destiny. All right, what else? All in the sun. Happiest card in the deck. Seven of swords. Oop. Yeah, somebody here has been strategizing. There's been avoidance of this on purpose. Um, not wanting to do anything to distract from the connection or do anything that would like destroy it or ruin it so there's been a lot of avoidance and this i don't feel like running out of fear just strategy okay i have to be very very careful about this because there's a lot of heartache and pain in somebody's life here and someone knows seven to three ten of swords which we have over here the ending that's would also be the four of swords if you subtract so that's the healing rest and recovery period so I see someone strategizing, like looking back, okay, yeah, someone healing, the star, a sun, massive healing. So I don't want to do anything that looks sneaky or whatever. I just need to strategize the right time because there's a lot of heartache and pain to get over here. I feel like someone definitely is watching someone go through that healing. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Enlightenment, growth, expansion, healing, love, prosperity, wealth, abundance, happy home and family, it's everything. So we do have Sag, Leo, Curse, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. All right. Do one more row and see, and then we'll clarify a little bit. All right, Gemini. If it does resonate so far, please do like, comment, all the great things. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, Gemini. So let's see. We're going to do one more row. What else do we need to know? Pull some clarifiers from the top and the bottom of the deck. 
and then we'll do some uh, magical unicorns as well. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Well, there's that Four of Swords of Healing, Rest, Recovery. There's the offer with the Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, a little anxiety. Like, you know, I do feel that. Four of Pentacles reversed, but no more holding back. Two of Swords. Yeah, the energies have been a little blocked, but it's decision time. In the King of Swords, that's you, Gemini. Look at that. We're ending the reading with you right there, Gemini. So, Gemini. Huh. So, I did, when I asked up here if it was, I think I asked if it was you, you know, wanting to come forward because you're watching somebody here and being a friend going through a hard time, said no. So, this definitely could be them wanting to go forward too, right? Is that how I said it? No, I'm confusing myself. But I see this as you, Gemini. Energy's a little bit blocked here, but no more hesitation. It's time to make a move here with the Four of Pentacles reverse. I feel there's a little anxiety around here, whichever way this falls, about coming forward with that offer, proposal, uh, romantic intentions, definitely with the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, but it's coming from a good place with the Page of Pentacles. And definitely someone has done a lot of healing, rest, recovery, and also somebody has been very patient and kind of just, you know, waiting for the right time to make this offer. So we got Capricorn and Gemini, you're right here. All right, so let's see what's on the top of the deck. Queen of Swords, oh look, we have a match, both upright. Getting on the same page, you know, long conversations, communication, talking about feelings and emotions. Two of Wands, which puts us at a crossroads, at a choice point, making a decision to walk this path of romance together. Look at that, and walking the path of romance together, we got the lovers. The connection, there's Gemini again. Page of Swords, a lot of page energy here. Uh, pentacle, Cups, and Swords, and they're all upright, so that's positive communication, true clarity, solid energy, romantic energy as well. The Moon, again, unknown of what the future holds, what's going to happen with this offer and this romantic uh offer but you know I, i'm a little scared i don't know what's going to happen so but i'm going to walk forward and do it anyway and could lead to the ten of cups here ten of cups definitely someone's going through uh gone through or is going through that ending coming to an end or has come to an end already the death card here let's see what's on the bottom six of wands we do have success and victory here five of pentacles someone has gone through a lot of loss and lack Four of Wands, very stable, grounded energy, foundation. Now here's the page. I was just thinking of the Page of Wands. I was looking at all the cards. I'm like, well, we don't have the Page of Wands. I didn't say it, so Spirit gave it to me. And it always happens that way. Exciting energy as well. Passionate energy, which now starts and kicks off the manifestation of this connection. It's also Gemini Virgo. Someone very fiery and determined here. This could be a business owner, um, entrepreneur, leader, someone creative intuitive, inspirational, a solid new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles as well. Eight of Pentacles, so putting in the work. And also, it couldn't be someone for some of you, someone you'd have worked with as well. But again, somebody going through a very tough time, Ten Pentacles reverse, could be divorce. But the big shift is here with the Tower. This could be happening right now as well. Shift, awakenings, changes, surprises. All right, it could be happening right now for some. And I did feel that with the um, Fool. We did have the Fool right up there, too. And the Tower can be right now as well. So, Gemini, let's get you some Magical Unicorns to see what else we need to know. And also, everything you do need to know, Gemini, is down below in the description box as well as my website. All right. Okay, Gemini, what do the magical unicorns have to say about this? Or Gemini, let's see. Laughter, a lot of good times ahead. Maybe you make each other laugh. Definitely a good source of support um, and lighter energy. And we do have water, so it could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or you know, this could just mean water is very healing. A lot of healing showing up as well. Going with the flow and not rushing anything. 
diving deep into love, emotions, and feelings, as well as a very cleansing, purifying energy as well. So de someone definitely cleansing and purifying their energy. Love. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's definitely love and laughter here to be had. And a very cleansing energy. And share. So again, sharing feelings, thoughts, ideas, communication. Someone's about to share how much they love you. And I see a lot of good, good energies here with laughter. Relax. Everything's okay. So everything's going to be fine. Um, I do feel like our relationship status is about to change, though, from like platonic to look at that. We got true. So it's true for some and actually could be true love from friendship to love. That's what I feel here. Someone definitely feels like you're worth waiting for as well. Look at that best friends. I can't make that up. So this definitely, definitely could be. And right now I'm hearing the Aegis song. Um, friends, friends to lovers. It was a duet and it was a very slow song about a friend telling the other person that they love them and they want to be more than friends or friends and lovers, something like that. Anyway, anyway, Gemini, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.